Hey there, it's Bridget Jones. Good afternoon. Hey, I wanted to do a quick video on one of my very favorite products that just came in the mail today, and that is Spalding Labs Fly Predators. So I'm going to show you today what the Fly Predators look like when you first get your... Um, your bag and then I'll do another video showing you um, how to apply um, the fly predators out in your field or wherever you have your horses. So I'm going to go ahead and pan in now on the fly predators. Okay, so this is the bag from Spalding Labs. This is what you get when you order your fly predators and this bag has 5,000 fly predators in it. Um, when you get your bag, the fly predators actually are not hatched. And if you look very closely, you'll see there's nothing really moving in the bag itself. And so that's how the bag comes. Um, it takes about three or four days for the fly predators to actually hatch. And when you start seeing about a dozen of them move around in your bag, then you know that it's time to put your fly predators out. And what I do is, I'll kind of just pan around and show you. I have... Um, this is up on my porch. I have a five acre parcel and so what I do is I go around my acreage um, on my quad and I harrow first. So I take and harrow all the manure um, around the property before I apply my fly predators. Now you don't have to do this but this is just something I do kind of to break up. Hi cat, how are ya? Uh, break up the manure. And then once I've done that, then I go ahead and open my bag and I start sprinkling the fly predators around the property. And there's instructions on the back on how to do this. Um, it talks about, you know, how to put it on the manure. It's very simple to do. Do not apply pesticides anywhere around these little critters, which obviously I don't do anyway. Um, I wanted to also give you their website. It's spalding-labs.com. And what's really cool is you can set yourself up on an auto monthly um, shipment of the product. And so they'll ask you what your zip code is, how many horses you have, and they'll estimate how many fly predators you need and when you need to start receiving your fly predators. So I'm in Washington State, and um, I should have started last month, but it's May 1st now, and so I'm starting this month. Um, all the way through the end of September. And I actually put in for more fly predators than I need because my neighbor has four horses uh, down below, in the pasture below, and she doesn't um, do much about her manure management. So the flies end up coming up and bugging my horses. So I'm going to actually sprinkle some down by where our pastures meet. And these will fly uh, quite a distance, so you can... Um, sprinkle them and then they'll fly where they need to go. So anyway, I will do another video as soon as these guys start hatching so you can see what that looks like and um, how I actually use uh, these fly predators, but I absolutely love them. I skipped them one year and man, could I tell a difference. So I'll never do that again. Talk to you soon.